Sharonville is ideally located just 15 miles north of Greater Cincinnati along highways I-75 and I-275. The city of Sharonville's location has been a catalyst for development in leading industries such as biohealth, manufacturing, logistics, engineering, and tourism. Our economy is strong and growing due to fiscal responsibility, progressive leadership, and a diverse business economy. I'm most proud of the fact that what I like to call is our fiscal sanity. Uh, you know, we have really committed ourselves as administration and, and teamwork with our council uh, to make sure that we're not spending any more money than what we're bringing in on any given year. One of our biggest accomplishments in the last several years is that moving into 2017, the general fund will be debt free. This will allow us to consider a lot of uh, capital projects and maintain a uh, balanced budget. We as a city are looking very strongly at what we can do over the next five years to improve the lives of our residents and help our businesses. So since the recession that we have, uh, we've experienced about a 25% uh, a growth in our income tax collections since 2010 to the end of 2015 and looking to improve on that in 16. Also, our top 10 employers only account for about 28% of our, our total income tax collections. And for any city with a large automobile manufacturing plant or any large manufacturing facility, that's a very diversified economy. One of the big projects that I expect we will start on is the building of a new Sharonville police station. For many years, our police department have been struggling with accommodations that don't fit modern policing. You might not know that the city uh, relies uh, for general funded fire resources about 90% on the income taxes that we collect. We pride ourselves that we have not collected a property tax uh, since the middle of the Reagan administration. This year was a fantastic year for the city of Sharonville. We experienced growth in all of our leading industries. Some of our notable projects include Cincinnati Sub-Zero, a manufacturer of temperature-controlled equipment, built a 79,000 square foot addition to their facility. This expansion will allow them to retain 375 employees and hire an additional 124 employees. Club Chef, a Castelli company, one of the largest regional processors of fresh foods, announced they would expand their operations to Sharonville, creating 375 new jobs. Standard Aero, an aerospace firm, announced a $10 million expansion. They will add 120 new jobs. Cut All Products underwent an expansion this year. They intend to create 36 new jobs and retain 195. Danis, the region's third largest general contractor in Cincinnati, moved their local operations to Summit Woods Corporate Park. Danis has 75 employees. Another new business at Summit Woods is United Healthcare. They relocated their regional operations, bringing 200 jobs to Sharonville. In addition, Kentucky and Clean Fuels broke ground on the region's first public compressed natural gas facility in Commerce Park. We look at ourselves as a complement to the Duke Energy Convention Center. We're all in the same region. We're all part of Hamilton County, and our goal is to attract conventions and visitors into the county, into the region. Uh, the Duke Energy Convention Center does a great job with national conventions uh, like the NAACP this year. And, and our niche is different. We're more regional, so we're attracting the regional events that the Duke is probably too big for, but we're a perfect match for. This year was another record year of events. We'll be uh, hosting about 400 plus events by the end of December and about 200,000 plus attendees through the doors in 2016. So uh, it's been a very successful year. We got a lot to be uh, proud and happy about uh, in next year with the opening of the Hyatt Place Hotel, even greater things to come. It will be a 120 room property. It's gonna be connected directly to our facility to allow ease of access for our attendees to come directly to their event without going outside, walking a couple city blocks. So we're taking the great things that we have done and accomplished in the last five years, like the Convention Center, Princeton School Campus, all the aesthetic improvements that we've created, and we're continuing to improve to make the experience for our guests even better. We're gonna finish Chester Road, uh, the infrastructure that we started working on 
already there. Uh, we're going to get it done all the way up to Kemper Road um, so that we can be that Northern Lights District that we envision, that place that attracts folks from around our region to our convention center to the wonderful Princeton complex that exists on that street and to all of our hotels, lodging, and hopefully attract other restaurants to the ones that are already great restaurants that already exist there in our Chester Road corridor, our Northern Lights District. By investing in economic development programs to bring jobs and businesses into Sharonville, investing in leisure opportunities and investing in the community as a whole, we're going to ensure that we have a great place for the next generation of Sharonville residents to live, the next generation of uh, folks to work. The City of Sharonville is dedicated to building a vibrant and thriving economy. We look forward to the opportunity to work with you and your business.